Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at name ranges again. Uh, two aspects of them. One, how to create your names using the create from selection command. Um, but also, how to incorporate those name ranges into your formulas a couple different ways. So, let's take a few minutes and look at it. Here we go. So here, here I have a, a small uh, data range, and what I want to do is multiply the silver, gold, and platinum discounts, 90, 80, and 75 percent, times the retail prices for my various items here. But I, instead of just using standard uh, formula structure, I want to use named ranges. So what I need to do is name those discounts by those three names. So to do that, I'm going to highlight those six cells, and I'm going to go to the Formulas tab, and in the Define Names group, click on Create from Selection. The Create Names from Selection dialog box pops up, and I just want to have the bottom row checked because the bottom row is where the names are for the discounts I have. I say OK, and now if I click on the name box, I can see I have gold, and it selects the 80%. Platinum, the 75%, and silver, the 90%. So now those three are named. Now, I also want to name retail, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to name all these items. I'm going to name inventory and cost and retail, glasses, pottery, etc. I can I, And I can do all those simultaneously by just highlighting them all, clicking on the Create from Selection command, and again, Excel pops up the dialog box, and suggests that I'm going to use the top row and the left column for my names and that is correct so I'll say OK and again now if I look at my name box all those are in there. If I select pottery you can see it selected those or if I select cost those in column H are properly selected. If I click on my name manager you can see all the names are labeled and uh, in my name manager for use in formulas. So I'm going to close that so, let's go through three different ways that I can now put in my formulas to multiply the discounts times the retail pricing. In column J for silver, I'm just going to type equals retail, I help if I spelled it right, and I hit my multiplication symbol and put in silver. I can hit enter, and as you can see, the formula is equals retail times silver. Use my autofill handle, copy that down, and now all those formulas are in place. So what I did there was I just typed the whole name and uh, put in my multiplication symbol and that entered the formula. And now my formula is very logical. It explains exactly what I'm doing, typing retail times silver. For gold, I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'll put in my equal sign. And if I start typing retail, RE, notice uh, Excel filters down the list. Now, I don't have to type out the whole, world, uh, the whole word. I can use my cursor movement keys, go down to uh, the retail tag, and hit the tab key. And that will enter that. Hit my multiplication sign and start typing gold, G, O. And again, I can just hit the tab key. Hit enter and copy those down and now all those formulas are properly in place. For platinum, I'm going to use the use in formula command that's in the define names group. So I'll start by hitting my equal sign, then I'll go up to the use in formula and I'll select retail. Hit my multiplication symbol, again go up to use in formula, select platinum and hit enter. And now again, my formula is in place. Auto fill that down, and my you can look in the formula bar, and it says equals retail times platinum. So that's three different ways you can enter your names into your formulas: either typing the whole name, typing it partially using your cursor movement keys to scroll down and then hit tab, or using that use in formula option that's in the define names group. And there you have it. Hope you like it. Hope it's useful to you. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.